Okay, so the other investment we might have is financing. Us getting money so that we can buy property and plants and equipment when we first start the business by taking out a loan. So now we'll imagine that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finance the rest of it with a loan. We need more capital. We need to buy more stuff to make money. So I'm gonna go back to the first tab and this time we're gonna have a loan. Same thought process. I'm gonna say, okay, a loan. Is there a form directly related to taking out a loan? No, because loans don't happen that often. So is cash affected? Yes, cash is going up. So I could use the deposit form, but I'm gonna do the same thought process and put it directly into uh, the register. If cash wasn't affected, if I took out a loan to buy equipment, for example, then I might have to go to the journal entry. So once again, I'm gonna use the register and here's the register. I'm gonna put it in there as of, uh, let's say the second, just to switch things up a bit. And we'll say this is from, I'm just gonna say Chase, the bank is gonna be the bank. We'll say it's a customer, even though that's not exact as well, cause it's a bank, but whatever, because that's the, our choices. We're gonna say this is a loan. The payment or the deposit, I should say is 50,000. We're gonna take a loan out for 50,000. And the other side, we're gonna put into loan payable. So I think we already have one here. A loan payable account is the other. I'm going to put it into a current liability. Now, this is kind of an issue with the loans. So there's a couple issues with loans. Uh, one is that we usually think of loans and oftentimes the loans are formatted in installment loans, meaning we take out a lump sum and pay it back on a monthly basis. If that's the case, then it might be that we have the loan extending like five years out into the future or something like that. And that means that we might have a short-term portion, which is current, those due within a year, and a long-term portion, those that are gonna do the portion of the loan due beyond a year. So what do I do about that? What am I gonna, I mean, I, I have to break this loan out to be properly reported between a short-term and long-term portion. So I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Right now, I'm gonna put it into the current portion. The other issue we have uh, with a loan is that when we pay off the loan, we're going to typically need an amortization schedule and there's a couple different methods we might use to pay off the loan. So let's first put it into this loan payable account. The, and one more issue is that if we have multiple loans, should I put them into one loan payable account or have multiple loans? Okay, we'll expand on some of those issues. I'm going to put it into the same loan payable account for now and show what happens. So we're going to say save it. 